Now we'll talk about the slope of a position versus time graph. So instead of having x and y axes, we'll go back to having t on the horizontal axis and then the position x on the vertical axis. So let's look earlier at the motion we were thinking about in, a, in an earlier example. This was the case where the car was moving along at 4 feet per second. So it ends up moving a total of 12 feet in 3 seconds. And now we're asked, what is the slope of the line on this graph? That's this line right here. We want to calculate the slope. Well, slope is always rise over run. So we just need to pick two points and calculate the slope. So let's, let's just take this first point and the second point. That'll be easy. We'll look at that little segment. How far up does it go if you go from this point to that point? How far up does it go? That's the rise. And how far over does it go? That's the run. Well, you can see on the graph that it goes up four. And specifically, that's four feet. So the rise is four feet. And the run here, how far over it goes, is one and that's one second. So the run is one second. So the slope is four feet over one second, which is the, the four over the one we can just write as four, and that's feet per second. Notice we could also do it this way. Here's another way. We could say rise over run, and instead of picking those two points that I picked, we could take our starting point here and our ending point and consider the entire graph, that's fine too. If we do that, we have a rise of 12 feet, because it went up to that height, that's a rise of 12 feet over a run, you see the amount over here, going from this point to that point, we go over 3, and specifically that's 3 seconds, so 12 feet over 3 seconds. And you can see this fraction, 12 over 3, reduces to a 4. And we still have our feet and our seconds. So it's 4 feet per second. And note those units. If we take the units into consideration, the feet here and the seconds there, and we always should take the units into consideration. When we calculate the slope, the rise is in feet and the run is in seconds, and we very naturally end up with the unit for feet per second. And you recognize that as a unit for speed. This calculation that we do calculating the slope, rise over run, when we actually do the math here, we're really doing the distance divided by the time. And distance divided by the time, you recognize, is our equation for average speed. So we see this very important point. The slope of the position versus time graph is the speed. That's a very important point for understanding motion mathematically. The slope of the position versus time graph is the average speed.